She when we have find... somebody from Playboy and a comic <laughs> in the room, it's going to be tough. <laughs> and we have like our <laughs> MMA guy was like right? the MMA <laughs> show before us. He was out of the parking lot and he heard that right? we have a play somebody and from came Playboy. Back. <laughs> right? He's back. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> he, uh, He's they, 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 uh, I'm not joking. They, 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 I think on last week's show, they, they show you how to choke. I don't want to use the say it the wrong way. Choke you, you know. They make you pass out. Why do I always have to like wonder what the hell you're talking yeah, about? They, the the ch- erotic asphyxiation. Mean, chokehold Ex- for for MMA guys. Right, the MMA guy. Um, a submission well, chokehold. No, where do you actually pass out? Yeah. Yeah, it's a chokehold. A chokehold. Wait, is this a sex thing? No. Yeah, then why no, well, no, I mean, I think some people, some it's people. Judah, this is see, Judah has what's called tangential uh, thinking, and so he just goes from topic to topic. Right. Yes. And you have to wonder what the hell he's. Thank you, about. mom. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, my mother calls me up sometimes, and is like, you know, so I was last week, I was on the phone, and that's how the conversation starts. It's never, you know, sometimes it doesn't even have to be, hey, how are you? It could be like, I was in the, sh- I was shopping this morning. You got to get, the-, you know. Anyways, uh, all no. I love is that we have a somebody from Playboy in here, and you're talking about your mom. I've known her for twelve years. <laughs> She's past Playboy to me. When you, you know somebody know each other for, t- for twelve years, yeah, yeah. We go way yeah. back. Yeah. If yeah, I've known her since I basically got sober. How much time do you have? Uh, twelve and a half years. Oh wow. She's has a little less, but little there was less. nothing greater than <laughs> when I saw her in L.A. and. That's this just great. magic moment. This magic yeah, moment. You, I think we have a call. You're still a boob, and then I won you over. Oh, we have a call. I was a boob. You were we, a boob. We and do then have I won a caller coming in. I was so intimidated by her that I called her the wrong name for four years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I used to call her. I used to, I used to call her Julie. Sexy girls make you forget their names. They do. When you're when you're getting Any sober, girl makes you to forget but when you're getting sober, if, <laughs> you when, forgot my name. When you're yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's because you're sexy. I'm not, not right now. He was like he, yeah, was, he, he was honing my skills at that point. He was like, how would Judah be right now? <laughs> oh my goodness. So Susie, how about you? What was what you got you so like you got super uh, sober twelve years ago? Now? No, Susie's I started, been sober about six. Started. She started. You, the, you began the process. And then I found out something very disappointing the other day. What was that? I'm moving out of my apartment. No, that's always traumatic. It's very traumatic. But when I moved here seven years ago, I had I had maybe a year sober, and then I fell off the wagon like instantly, right? But I didn't right. have any connections, so mm. I was forced to wander like <laughs> Sunset La Brea in my pajamas, trying to find coke. You're not going to find coke, but you may find a derivative, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which I did, luckily. But it was a big pain. Like I I was behind. Right like the Burger King and it was like a thriller video like all the zombies are coming out <laughs> and then this like total like central casting crackhead <laughs> comes out and, and we're smoking crack and we run out of crack of course which begs the question right, who doesn't do run out of crack ever right. have ever crack like do you ever get up in the morning and go, oh I can smoke it never happens so now we're, we're, we're getting to the point where we're so low on crack that we're blowing it back and forth to wow. each other wow okay <laughs> like shotgunning That's crack crazy. it going right. And then, in, and then into a plastic bag, mm-hmm. and then, and then yeah. <laughs> right, right. There's it no loss of the cracks. No loss of the cracks. Yeah, so I'm cheap too, you know. So it's right. not necessarily right. yes. Yeah, so it's not just a, you know, it's not um, cheap. It's called conserving the crack smoke. That's what I think. Yes, thank you. Practical. And then I found out from my landlord as I'm moving out that my next door neighbor was a drug dealer. Uh, Imagine all of the pain and all suffering. All the pajama that walking for nothing. Right, and for this nothing. has to do with you moving now. Oh, just re- it re. Got you no, thinking. I know it just got me thinking because oh. I always <laughs> reflect on the, the, those episodes because there were several. Well, Susie, we yes. have a friend of yours on the phone. Oh, who might this uh, be? Should we take the call? His name's Theo. Theo, you there? Oh, I know. I am. <laughs> Welcome to Clean Radio. Hey, Theo. I heard we were smoking crack or something. I was like, let me get in on this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome. What's up, Theo? Hey, baby doll. What are you guys doing? Uh, we're having a, we're having a radio show, yeah. and you're on it. <laughs> well, I called in with just one question. Okay. Can we keep her from uh, maybe get a dump button or something? Because I'm hearing a few things slip through. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's that's that, our. <laughs> that was Amber. That, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was uh, Amber. Okay, okay. That was the comedian. <laughs> We're actually Susie's been very, very good. Yes, Thank except you. for the first <laughs> for the first word actually. Yeah, oh, After yeah. the first word, Susie's been strong. great. Yeah, you gotta, she yeah. could not be a better human. Are you actually listening oh, on the radio, or are you listening idea. on the internet? I was listening on the internet. Well, that's yeah, why, internet because internet, jump. the feed yeah. doesn't... Uh, doesn't get caught. Ah, I hear you. So, Theo, you're getting the, you know, the Rated full, X. uncensored, Censored. clean radio version. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'm loving it. We also <laughs> okay. we also shoot Thanks, the show, buddy. so you're going to see what Susie has been doing in studio. Oh, good yeah. God. And Next week, uh, you can see God. it live. Uh, well, yes. not live, but Humanity. on uh, video. We on are no longer a show about addiction. We are a show about porn, which is an addiction. Porn can be an addiction. Nice segue. 
Yes. It's, yes. it's killed just about every uh, cell in my body. Pornography <laughs> is uh, my devil. It's my crack. We'll love you through this. <laughs> Do you have a question, Theo, or are you just calling him for... No, I'm just calling him to say hi. Well, that's cool. Appreciate the support. Yeah, sure up the support. I'll get back to crack smoking. Well, okay, <laughs> Theo. Everybody needs a hobby. We wish Much you luck on that. <laughs> <laughs> have a great night, Theo. Bye, Theo. See you guys. Bye, Theo. Bye. And we are in the studio tonight with uh, the lovely, bodacious Playboy writer. You're going to talk about me. Andrew. I was about, I was about <laughs> to say Andrew. What about and me? He didn't come quick enough because I said Playboy, Susie McCoppin. Oh. We are in the studio with the vibrant, bespeckled, <laughs> drove <laughs> drunk <laughs> through the, this Golden Gate Bridge, <laughs> right? And questions whether that was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> lovely comedian Amber. Tozen. Tozer. 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 Man, you are horrible Man, I am, with I'm, names. I am bad with names. You are just... This might be a career. I'm going to start <laughs> writing for Playboy so you guys get my right? name right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know. No, no. no you trust know me. Years. No, trust me. Before it's Susie week. came in, he was like this. Susie McCoopin? <laughs> yeah, right? He was like asking me, and I'm like, it's Samuel McCoopin? Samuel McDowell? It's, it's <laughs> McCoppin. what? I have a problem with names. So it's Amber Tozen. Tozer. Tozer. Wow. See? So Tozer. Gonna, Tozer. Okay, so Poser. Tozer. Okay, I got it. I think all the drinking has had an effect. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take a break. Uh, no? No, we're not. Why are we taking and, a break? Uh, I don't know, because... Uh, going straight through. Yeah, we're going straight through. I actually, I wanted to get more Man into... Up. Into the anonymity. Well, I, no, I wanted to have more of a talk with Amber here. Oh. We got Amber here, and she was just Shut telling I, us that Amber, she, can you move over this way a little bit so I can see you, too? Yeah, and take yeah. off your top. And um, <laughs> now, now he's now now our now is on. on it. Right, <laughs> first words are, are being spurred around. He's got nothing. Can and I just I just want to make that noise all night instead of talking? Amber, what's your favorite John Hughes movie? Um, this is a very important question. Very so important. Think, sixteen candles. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah. Awesome. So that's, you know, I thought you were going to say pretty in pink. Then I could ask if I could borrow your underwear. But, uh, uh, borrow your underwear is 16 Candles. Six, yeah, sorry, my bad. Uh, 16 there. Candles, oh, so, yes. 16 oh. Candles yeah. is the best. 16 Candles is the best. And I was talking, I can't remember who I was talking to about this yesterday. And I, <laughs> where I said to them, the greatest, the best looking guy, that guy that should have had it all was in 16 Candles. Jake Ryan. Jake Ryan. Uh, he gave it all up. What? Uh, he gave oh, it all up to be a carpenter, carpenter in Pennsylvania. Yeah, he did? Yes. So did yes. Jesus. Uh, yes, oh. but, uh, <laughs> but Jesus had a, you know, Jesus had a lot more Jesus followers did. than Jake. That's not true. not till about 600 years after his death. But That's, Jesus had better abs. He was mm, cut. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, that was Jake what, was a little better looking. I'll give you that. I'll yeah, give you that. <laughs> great scene. I mean, that was a great movie. Sixteen That's Candles. The best when one did he do? When did he move to be a carpenter? Like in right? like ninety one. He did this. Uh, why am I? I am the being Jake yesterday. But uh, I was because I was talking to somebody. Because <laughs> that's your girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I'm secretly in love with Jake Ryan, which I think most men in that day were. Totally. <laughs> you know, they were like, okay. The camera guys were like, yeah. <laughs> he's handsome. He's, he's handsome enough. It's he, the eighties. He, he was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, but he was a cool guy. He was like Slow, the guy. Good. If he would have called you and said, hey, let's. Let's go hang. You would have been like, okay. I <laughs> loved him it's in Jake. that movie because he smiled a lot and always said the right thing. He was cool. He never, yeah, he was cool. He, he was, was a good a guy. And, guy. And that scene in yeah. the end, uh, uh, that scene in the end where like Anthony, with, when <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall's in the car and he finds her with the with the with the, what's her name, whatever Carolyn. her name is. Yes, and he's just like he gives them a smile, and he, it was just a great scene. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, "You're you're my Eskimo brother." Nice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and uh, you guys know Eskimo brother? Sure. President's Club. Yeah. All right. Andrew's very bright, so he gets more of the you know, uh, uh, smart explain references. Explain it to the lay people. Oh, my goodness. To Judah? <laughs> 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 Which is sort of funny calling me a laid person. Um, Let's try and stay on topic. I'm really trying to get some stories about recovery. But we are. You know well, you know why this is so important about recovery? But how long, Amber, how long are you sober? Three years. Susie? Six. Thirteen. You, well, you're sober a bunch of years, too. We're having fun. And we're talking about we're we're, we're, we're having laughs that I would have wild. that I <laughs> that I would have killed for when I was drinking, right. and I think that That's is a good point. We're actually having fun. We're having fun, and oh, this is a and, I is <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is one of the most and I think that is and I think that is one of the most underrated <laughs> talked about things about getting sober is that it's supposed to be fun. There's no way, Judah, that you could have ever sat in a room with two beautiful women. Oh my God! Women I, can I tell you and, something? And be able to talk. I. 
Without the yeah. sober and on yeah. the radio. I constantly, <laughs> that's exactly right. And it's something I constantly talk about. I used to live in Arizona, which was the worst place to be a Jewish alcoholic. And um, <laughs> and I used to be on this. In, You're in, Jewish? Yes, I am. Okay. It's, it's the glasses that gave it away. <laughs> and um, No. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's the Judah. And and I used to, on, on in Mesa, there's a place right by ASU, Arizona State University, there's a coffee shop called the Coffee Plantation. And I remember I used to be there on Saturday night at like probably like midnight drunk just so you know when you're drunk and you're not even fun you, you're past the point of normal drunk you're you know just down please. syndrome drunk. yes uh, yeah, down <laughs> and i used to stare <laughs> i used to stare into this coffee plantation i used to see these beautiful women and all i wanted to do was be sitting in there having coffee with them the problem is when you have alcoholism, you can so never... got a tissue? I'm, I'm I know. This is like my hallmark <laughs> moment. But when you have alcoholism, you can never get to the other side of the glass. When you're in active alcoholism, you could never mm. sit at that table with those mm. people just drinking coffee, having a fun time. When I got sober, all I wanted was a blockbuster night. <laughs> you know, all I wanted was like just to have a few yeah, DVDs, totally. sit yep. at home with some popcorn yep. and be free Wholesome. and just be like, like know where my money is. You yeah. know, what, I mean, how great is it? You wake up sober. You might not be rich, but you know where your driver's license is. Yeah. <laughs> you know where your car is. <laughs> and, or and, scooter. Or scooter in my case. <laughs> and... Um, and the problem with the scooter is, you know those turn signals? Oh, my yeah. God. He goes off. The, the, the problem with the, the, the I, 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 if I'm at night and I'm at a lane where, where the red, where the turn signal, it, uh, my, the scooter isn't, doesn't weigh enough to get me that light. Getting back to it, we're having Amber, fun. Can you I just want to throw out keywords and see where he goes. Right? You could do that. Just do it. Keep on doing it. Banana. Go. Bananarama. <laughs> one, of, one of the great bands of the Cruel 1980s. Summer. Uh, Cruel Summer from the Karate, Karate Kid. Kid. Oh, oh yeah. the two of you oh. are scary. Yeah. <laughs> right? It's a cruel, cruel, cruel summer. summer. Um, well, you're Daniel LaRusso. Every time I hear the name Johnny, I want to scream, you're a cream puff. He is um, a cream puff. But, uh, he was also a Cobra Kai. He's a Cobra Kai. We're getting... We're, we, but we, you know, you know, the, but just so you know, we are in a way where there are microphones, and even yeah. if you whisper, the, <laughs> you really I was can't talk badly. You. I was but you know, like, I have crabs. So getting back to it, <laughs> sobriety is supposed to be fun. <laughs> yes, it is. And you know, you have a love which is shooting guns. I do. And you are able to no, thank that. God you're sober shooting guns. <laughs> but it's one of those things that you're when you get sober, you're supposed to live your dreams. You're supposed to live your fantasies, your everything. And I think a lot of people don't do that. I think a lot of people stay in AA meetings and are scared to live life. Yeah, that's true. That they they forget that AA is a design for living as opposed right. to just AA in right. itself. It's, in itself. it's yeah. you know, it's a bridge back to life. Mm -hmm. We're in the mm -hmm. studio tonight with Susie McCoppin. Amber Tozer. Amber Tozer. I was going to say it right. And the, of course, the great Andrew Spanswick. And the infamous Judah. Yes, uh, the Judah. Come on. The Judah? Mm -hmm. uh, really? You need a the? That's like the jab of the I, hut. I always tell people, when I, I always tell people, I, they go, you're talking in third person. I'm like, no, I'm talking in fourth person. All right. I like trying to convince them. <laughs> We're going out for a break. Our phone number is? 877-8-830-830. That's 877-8-830-830. You're listening to Clean Radio. That's Clean with a K. See you in a couple minutes. Now your hosts for Clean Radio, Andrew and Judah. So, here we are. It's Andrew and I'm back with Judah, who's gone back to his crazy dancing. It's the killers, man. And when people get to see this online at cleanradio.com, they'll get to see that you've been slowly shifting your seat closer and closer to Susie <laughs> throughout the show. <laughs> it's the director. You, you can, you can, it's it's, it's Patrick. The video guy, wait, wait. Patrick goes like this to me. He goes, yeah, you know. I, maybe, was, maybe he was like doing like I want her. And I thought he meant like, I thought he meant move closer to you. C block. Right? And, you know, uh, your plan was I am sorry, Patrick. But I'll you know I am in a committed anyway. relationship. So, <laughs> so, well, well, you know, as committed as they get for you. Right? You got nothing. You got, no, you got nothing to worry about. We are in the Listen, you got to drop Niagara Falls and get with the hero. Yeah. Yeah. It's, one of my, it's one of my favorite lines, though. Favorite lines in a movie. I know, right? Mine so too. for those that are joining us in the second hour, yes. our guests tonight are... Susie McCoppin, uh, writer from Playboy magazine and also Playboy. famous from the Courtyard by the Marriott commercials here shown in L.A. <laughs> and we have... And a very good non-tangential comedian yeah. with expert driving skills across the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> Amber, Amber Tozer. 
Amber Tezer. It was and a uh, and it, you, the reason I got your name, Bay Bridge. Bay Bridge. the reason I got that name oh, easily okay. that time was it because was the Bay Bridge, not the Golden Gate Bridge. Did I get that wrong? Bay Bridge. It's the Bay, Bay Bridge. Bridge. Wow, that's even harder. Right? Yeah, but I was like, I just, I don't know. She took it down. I, t- I <laughs> made it. <laughs> was it with one eye closed? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only remember bits and pieces of it. You know, when you're in a blackout and you right? can sort of like. Yes. Pick out moments. It's five years of my life. <laughs> Blacked out. 